Hey, I'm Jason Creel, and today I want to talk to you for a minute about how to properly quote a lawn care job. Now, I want to say that this, like a lot of things I've talked about, goes into this broader scheme of things of your overall business image. How does a customer perceive you as a business owner? Okay, so you can imagine if I scribble a number down on a napkin and hand it to a customer, that that doesn't necessarily come across as very professional. And yet if I have a, a nicely designed template that I use to provide you know, all the information a customer would need, then that's going to uh, be a lot more professional and can be one of the things, not necessarily the only thing, but one thing that's going to help a customer choose you in a situation where they're getting multiple quotes for a particular job. It's almost overly simplified, but if you can reverse your role and put yourself in the customer's shoes and think about your transactions you've had with other business owners and which ones did you respond to and which ones did you not respond to and why did that happen? You know, was it a certain way that they talked to you? Was it the nice uh, way that the template looked when they quoted the job? Was it how quickly they responded from your quote request to the actual time that they were able to provide a quote? You know, if it was two weeks later when they got you a quote, it probably left a lot of doubts in your mind as to how quickly they'd be able to perform the actual work. If they were able to respond that same business day or perhaps the next business day, then that would probably give you a lot more confidence in the company overall. So these, there's a lot of factors that go into quoting a job. So let's point out a few things here worth remembering. One, the bigger the job, the more important it's probably going to be to have something more official. You know, so I'm talking about a nicely designed quote template. Now, if I'm doing a, a, a landscape installation job, it's going to be $10,000, okay? Then, again, I, I, any job I do, I don't want to write a number down on a napkin. But in that situation, the more professional I can set my company apart on somebody that's looking to spend $10,000 redoing their landscaping, uh, it's going to help significantly. So, perhaps even investing in a, um, a thin folder to include with your quotes to have you know to have your logo your contact information perhaps a little bit of a history about your company on there a little bit of, about you the owner and and then very detailed information about what is going to be performed in the job and what is not going to be performed and then maybe some details about how the payments going to be broken out where, where it's very clear to the customer how this job is going to be done now if you're just bidding on a situation where you're wanting to, to have weekly mowing of somebody's lawn or maybe weed control and fertilization services, something that's a little bit less uh, financially involved, if you will, you know, a lot less money uh, being exchanged here, I still think in those situations it can, uh, at least even if they're not looking to get multiple quotes, if you have uh, maybe just one simple sheet of paper. So, uh, for instance, on the, on the mowing, maybe you, you start off with a, a conversation you say let's just let me just give you an example here if you said hey miss smith um, so we're going to cut your yard every thursday uh, from april through october and then we're going to come bi-weekly through the winter to to clean up your leaves or to do whatever you know and, and here's going to be the price per week or per month or however you're going to do the billing and then you agree on all those things and then you have it in a paper document that you can give her not necessarily for her to sign or be some legally binding agreement you can go to that extra step if you feel like you need to but it's just a professionalism that shows her hey this company's serious and i can really trust them with my lawn it gives that customer added confidence so if i'm doing weed control and fertilization i might have a similar document and i might uh, look around the, the yard and I can note the square footage of the yard after the measurement. I can note the price of the yard. I might label on there, uh, have some choices for what type of grass she has. I might have a section where I can write in some of the weeds that she has and maybe some additional notes that I can write in. And when you have all that written down in a document, you leave it with the customer. And at the end of the day, I'm trying to convert the customer on the spot. I don't necessarily want them to go away and think about it for a week. but even if you convert them on the spot, it gives them something to remember the conversation you had. Because I've had situations where I didn't provide a, a document like that, just being honest, and um, somebody will call me and they'll say, well, I thought you were only doing this many number of treatments a, 
you know, somebody will say something like, well, I thought you were only doing this number of treatments per year. And I said, well, no, sir, I've always done this many and this is how many it's going to be. Or, or they might say, I thought you were going to stop mowing in September and here it is October and you're continuing to bill me. Providing that document. And, and you know what? In today's age, it might even be done through email. Maybe when you get back home, you can. That little extra step can help you appear more professional to your customers. Not just appear professional. In my opinion, it just is more professional. And I think it... Uh, really can give the customer a lot of confidence. So a couple more things real quick on quoting the properties. I've already mentioned it, but being prompt is uh, so important. I try to be so quick to get to the customer's property to give them uh, a quote because a lot of times it truly is the early bird gets the worm. If I can be the first one there, the first one to be able to talk to that customer, you got to think for the customer, if that person shows up on the very same day that I call them, or perhaps even within a few hours of the time I call, they're there at my house giving a quote. To me, it really would give that customer a lot of confidence to, hey, this person wants the business. You know, sometimes you get the feeling that, do they not want the job? I mean, you know, if it's like took them days to get out here, and maybe they're, you know, they're busy. I understand it. I get the point. But uh, if they show up promptly and are real professional, sometimes that, that customer doesn't want to sit there and have to go through quote after quote after quote you may close the deal before the even another person gets to the quote when you're quoting jobs I think it's important also to to help differentiate yourself from your competition by telling what is uh, exceptional about your company but I think it's also important to do so in a way that you don't badmouth your competition you know that's not typically even if you think it might help you get the job i think your overall business reputation and your reputation as the business owner i try to avoid doing that if i try to differentiate myself without talking bad about my competitors and you know what your lawn care software can come in handy too because you know at least minimum have have a notebook where you can keep your quotes organized um, but you might can do that with your lawn care software and in that situation maybe it is a week or two before the customer calls you back and if you had written down your quote on a piece of paper and didn't have a record of it, you might have forgot the price that you quoted that particular customer. And that can be a little embarrassing as a business owner. So to have good records, uh, to be able to know what I quoted that person, even if it was months later they came back to you and said, yeah, we're ready to move forward with you. You know, perhaps they even tried a different company and didn't work out, so now we're ready to come back to your company. You know, worst case scenario, you have to quote again, but it's good to keep good records. These are just a few tips on how to look professional when you're quoting properties, how to set your company apart, and how to be successful in the lawn care business.